Ew, this is just a giant zit waiting to happen. <laughs> Before we get started, I wanted to talk about today's sponsor, Me Back. Me Back is a K-beauty brand that aims to revitalize, strengthen, and brighten skin. They know skincare can get expensive, so they made their products affordable and effective. Their star product, Sika, also known as Tiger Grass, is a medical plant that has natural healing properties to calm and soothe the skin. The first product is their Sika Eye Cream. This helps to smooth fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes, and the ceramides replenish skin and create a healthy moisture barrier. Next, we have their Sika and Vitamin C Serum. Vitamin C protects skin from free radicals while brightening your overall complexion. It also replenishes moisture and promotes a healthy skin barrier, as well as preventing signs of aging, helping to enhance that youthful glow. But thank you so much to me back for sponsoring this portion of the video. Um, my skin feels great. Actually feels a little bit tacky, which is going to be really great for the foundation. My eyes feel super hydrated. I'm having some dry patches like on my eyelids. So this feels very hydrating and lovely on the skin. Hello. So Mm, there was a bit of a mishap when I was filming the video. I realized that I hadn't been recording for majority of the time. Have I not been recording this whole time? Are you serious right now? So now we're back on a different day and a different filming idea. Today I'm going to be putting on all of my foundations, all of them. I've got them all in this container and I've got a bajillion more on my desk. So we're gonna dive in, mix them all up and see if all of my foundations together can create a flawless base to cover up this acne, the scarring, all that good stuff. Again, thank you so much to me back for sponsoring the beginning part of the video. I went ahead and put on my Sika Vitamin C Serum and it's a little bit sticky, which is good for a base to kind of hold everything together. I'm excited to see how this all turns out. This obviously was not my idea. I think the original creator of this video idea of mixing all of the foundations together was created by Safia Nygaard. I think that's how you say her name. Um, she used to work for BuzzFeed and she did this video, I think like three years ago. It's been a while, but I decided, you know what? This channel on YouTube is all about foundations. So why not just mix all the ones together that I have and see what happens? And I'm gonna go through each foundation and then I'll squirt it on my pan here and we'll go. So let's start with drugstore. I've got multiple shades of several different foundations, which is gonna be interesting. Actually, let's start with my most popular foundation on YouTube, which is the, ooh, it leaked. Well, anyways, there's something slimy like all over the foundation. Most popular foundation on my channel is the Dermacol foundation. Back when I had super severe acne that covered up everything on my face. This thing is like two years old. Oh, come on out. I'm squeezing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put the stick foundations on my face maybe, or should I like cut them and put them in there? This is the Hourglass Vanishing Stick Foundation in the shade Vanilla. There we go. And then I've got the Pure Foundation in Blush Medium. Oh. Ew, it's got like all these like little, it's like gritty. There we go. I wonder if it like hardened from being not used. 
ew, this is just a giant zit waiting to happen. <laughs> I've got a bajillion CoverGirl foundations. Um, I have a bajillion shades of the CoverGirl Outlast foundations here. So this one's in the shade 810. Ooh, that was one pump. A shade 805. There we go. 832. <laughs> oh, I'm getting real tan. That one is like gunked up. I've got the ColourPop foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation. Ooh. The Catrice HD Liquid foundation. Doing a science experiment. We've got Wet n Wild foundation in the sh in the shade Shell Ivory. Oh, I haven't even used this one yet. This one's been unopened. Well, look at that. We've got a foundation I need to test out on this channel. Spatula. Two shades of the NYX Born to Glow in porcelain and vanilla. We've got the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream in the shade Light. We've got a bajillion shades of my favorite foundation, the Glamouflage Foundation. I think this one's a backup, so I'm not going to open that one. This one might be a backup, too. Those are the same shades. This one's in the shade 1506. And this is just a doe foot. And then we've got the shade 1510. And then the Maybelline Superstay in 110 Porcelain. Those are all of my drugstore foundations. So let's move on to my more expensive foundations. We've got the Huda Beauty foundation in, in the color 130G Panacolata or Panacata. We've got the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundation in the shade 40 WY. My new favorite Kat Von D foundation in the shade light neutral. Love this. We have the YSL All Hours foundation in the shade warm porcelain. We have the new Perfect Diary foundation. If you haven't seen this video, check it out. 17 foundations in total. <laughs> I wasn't recording again. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, what is my problem? Well, anyway, I'm putting on the foundation and it looks pretty good. What is my problem? Why do I keep forgetting to hit record? <clears throat> that looks really good. The shade match is really nice, surprisingly. The foundation definitely has more of a dewy coverage. I probably could get rid of some of the extra. Maybe I'll go in with like, let's go with this beauty blender here to kind of, it is a little cakey, but that might be because I put a little too much on from the brush. Well, actually, I'm going to go in and be using Sigma's new warm neutral palette that launches on December 2nd. So this is gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one eye off camera and I'll be right back. Here is the eye look that I did, just something super simple, nothing crazy. But I haven't set or put concealer on or anything just in case I got fallout. There wasn't too much fallout at all with these shadows, which is great. And I kind of wanted to see how the foundation set. It's setting pretty nicely. So let's dive in to the eyeshadow. The first shade I'm going to be taking is the color Toasty. And I'm going to be using that on the double-ended brush that it comes with, which is the E38. And this is going to be my transition shade. Then with an E25, I'm taking the color Chiles. I think that's how you say that, because it's not chills. <laughs> And I'm packing this in on the outer corner and in the occipital bone. 
Next, I'm taking a really small concealer brush or an eyeshadow brush, and I'm using the P. Louise base, but you can use concealer or whatever you want to. And I'm just going to put this on the inner third of my eye. And then with the other end of the double-ended brush, which is the E54, I'm going in with the color Fool's Gold, which is a super unique shade. It's like gray with a green undertone and gold. Definitely fooled me when I put it on because it was not what I was expecting, but it's a really interesting color. And then with my finger, I'm going in with a mixture of Beaming and Charmer. That's going in the inner corner here. And then taking the E25, I'm just going to blend Fool's Gold and that Chile's shade together. Super simple, super easy, nothing too complicated. If there's any fallout, I can just, you know, blend it out. It is like settling into my chin, like in some of the pores and stuff, but hopefully all that will be fixed once I set it. I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'll be using the Glamouflage Concealer. really like the coverage. It's just insane. I'll be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I might use this actually just to set the rest of my face. So it doesn't add any more coverage. I'm using the Domed Buffer F47 by Sigma. Super simple, super easy look. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows, put some lashes on, all that good stuff, and then I'll be right back. Got my brows, we got the lashes on, and Sigma actually came out with two new shades of their liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade Suede, and this one is in the shade Cashmere, which are both super, super pretty. I'm gonna go in with the shade Cashmere. I love their liquid lipsticks. Like, they're just the softest, comfiest formula. And then I've been wanting to try the Rose Gold um, Cheek Duo. So this has a super pretty blush and a highlight shade. Let's go in. Oh, that is way more pigmented than I thought. And I'll take a Soft Blend 30 with that highlight shade called Gilded. <gasps> Pretty. Oh, yes! This foundation shade definitely looks super pale in person. Um, but yeah, that is the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face here. I'll use my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day setting spray. Oh! That is the completed look. The time is almost four o'clock. You guys know how it is. <laughs> Filming later in the day. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep this foundation on as long as I can and I'll check back in with you guys to let you know how it is and then obviously as well if it ends up breaking me out or not so I'll see you guys a little bit later hello we are back and the time is almost 10 o'clock so I've had this foundation on for six hours and I wore a mask it was my mom's birthday today so I was over at her house and the foundation completely came off my nose, but it's still on everywhere else. If you can see here, got some nice clinging around my nose, major clinging in my fine lines. It made my concealer crease really bad. So I remember the Dermacol foundation, which I had a good amount of in. It was a very, like, not greasy, but a very dewy foundation, not a matte one that stayed in place all day um, and it's definitely just settling into all my fine lines and pores and everything like that but I mean otherwise it looks like really healthy on the drier parts of my face but it's definitely transfer not transfer proof it transfers pretty easily and I ate and stuff and so I've got like stuff all over my um, 
my lips and everything like that. It was definitely a very interesting thing to test out nonetheless, mixing all of my foundations together. Um, and yeah, I definitely know that like the more dewy foundations don't work as well on my skin. I'm more of a semi-matte, I guess, type formula for my face. And yeah, you can probably see Leo crawling around in the background on the dresser there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again to me back for sponsoring today's video. Definitely check them out. I know they're doing a sale right now, so definitely check them out. All the links will be left down below. So thank you so much to them again. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day.